Little video here about the Digu DG HOSM, GSM and Wi-Fi security alarm system. I thought I'd show you how to actually pair up the Wi-Fi using your using the phone app uh, that obviously uh, they supply. Uh, you have to get the app from the side of the box by using a QR code. If you can't get the QR code um, and get the app, then just sort of have a chat with Digu support. You can find them via Facebook which seems to be the best way that I've got in touch with them, the quickest, definitely. Um, and they'll point you in the direction of how to actually get the app. Uh, once you've got the app, all you need to do is register. Um, and that basically, you know, is a simple, simple, simple uh, system. Uh, and once you get there, you will basically uh, be presented with a screen to say what you want to use, GSM or Wi-Fi. I'm choosing Wi-Fi. You also need to understand as well, or be aware that this uh, unit only uses 2.4 gigahertz. So if you've got a five gigahertz system and only a five gigahertz system, uh, then you're in, you know, you're not gonna be able to actually set this up on Wi-Fi and you're just gonna be able to use GSM um, or mobile signal. Um, with that said, uh, most routers come these days with a 2.4 on a five gigahertz range. So just use the 2.4 gigahertz. Now you need to actually set your phone up to be connected to that 2.4 gigahertz range to actually use this to get it all set up. So in the app, um, you'll see, uh, say GSM or Wi-Fi. I've chosen Wi-Fi and you'll be presented with a device list. Right now, there's nothing in there at all. Okay, so what you do is you need to click on the air link button and you'll be presented with a number of options. Uh, step number one, uh, I know that this unit is HF. It says so on the back, and you can find that on your device. You then need to enter in the Wi-Fi password, which I'm about to do now. Yeah, and step three, enable host to configure. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. And you basically do that on the device. So to en en enable the host to configure, um, it's very simple. So in the menu system, as I showed you before, click the tick and that'll sort of take you in, in, into there. You, with the arrows then, you move it through to Wi-Fi and then you get ready with the air link. It's the very first option. Back in the app then, you hit the completed uh, operation. Uh, you, I can't see the entire text because the phone doesn't go that far. You then press the tick button back on the device and it says sort of air linking. Then you go start configure on your phone and then you wait. So the little spinny wheel saying configuring says air link okay. Notice air link successful. And now the device is actually in the phone uh, ready for me to actually use. I can now connect by binding the device, connect to it, and there's my app. Now in the app, you can do quite a few different things. Uh, you can obviously do the whole uh, arming, alarming, and what have you that like you can with the remote, but you can also go into the system settings. And in here, you can actually see a lot of different sort of things. You can play about that with that to your heart's content, but it is sort of fairly uh, fairly simple and self-explanatory. There's nothing, nothing terrible to it. Okay, well, if you found this video helpful, please uh, give it a like uh, below. Uh, leave any comments and um, I'll answer any questions uh, should they arise. Thanks for watching.